Yo, what's up, guys? And uh, welcome to another tutorial. Today, I'm going to be showing you how to add a uh, rain effect into your clips in Sony Vegas. So, let's get started. While well, Vegas is open, and I'm going to ask you guys if any of you out there uh, are willing to make me a intro for my tutorials in Adobe After Effects. Right, please do, because I, I kind of need one for my videos. Seeing some crisps at the moment. So hear a big crunching sound, that's what it is. Right, anyways, um first thing you're gonna do is import your clip or just continue with the project you're working on. Actually I'm gonna import just a standard quality clip, not HD. Cause uh could be a little bit laggy. I'm just cutting these clips down at the moment. Just so I can. For some reason, it's really laggy. I just switched on my computer though, so. Just changing my project video properties, whatever you want to call them. Shouldn't be as laggy now. Yeah, that's a lot better. Right. Let me just quickly get rid of the black lines because they really annoy me. Now that's to do. Right. So, anyways, you've got. You've got your clip, or whatever you're, just, whatever you're trying to put it on. Um, first thing you want to do is change the color correction settings to make it a bit darker, because otherwise, it just looks a bit scruffy or something. Like that. If, it's, if it's bright and it's raining, it's a bit odd. So what you're going to do is come to video effects, and then come to brightness and contrast, and come down to darken, or oh, very dark. Sorry. And just drag it onto your clip and make it however you want to, how dark you want it to be, or whatever. No, make it kind of dark though, because um, otherwise, when you get the rain on it, it's going to look a bit odd. But make it visible as well. Alright, so once you've done the brightness and contrast, uh, you can come to color corrector drag in a studio RGB to computer RGB and then um, change the saturation and all that so you can actually give it a bit of colour a bit of gamma yeah that'll do me now if it's got like a dark outline um, so once you've done all your colour correction and that uh, if I'm going too quick for the colour correction and brightness and contrast just pause the video or something I just want to get this done with. Um, <coughs> Alright, so once you've done that, come to uh, Media Generators and insert a new video track. So you right click and insert a new one. <coughs> Sorry, I've got a bad throat. Um, yeah, so, anyways, come to Noise Texture and scroll down until you see something called Starry Sky. Just drag that above it above your clip just make that the same length there you go right so you've got that ready I know it looks like that. it looks shit but what you're going to do is first thing is on the color A make it white so just drag it up to the top anyway it doesn't matter and this little arrow here drag it three quarters of the way down the clip down the little square don't know why I just said clip then but um Anyways, yeah, and where over here where it says uh, frequency, keep the x axis at 2, but drag the y one down to 0 0.010, and it should look like that there. So it looks a lot more like rain. Where it says color B over here, 
drag that down all the way and there you go now you can start to see that it's actually looking like it's raining so what you're going to do is um, as you can see here you're just going to double click on this first one the first little keyframe and then what I do is I come right to the end of the bit the clip or the part of the clip that I want the rain to stop and go one frame before double click there and then you drag the progress in degrees all the way up <coughs> to 10 and then go to one more keyframe to the right and just keep just double click it so change your settings about until you want the rain to what like till you got the rain to what you want it to look like and then close it and that's it really there's like nothing else to it um I'll build a RAM preview for you now just hopefully you see it might work yeah it's running a bit slow but it'll play in full speed in a minute actually that's like nearly it's like too long can't bother to wait I'll change the quality down there you can still see it but it looks stingy oh, fuck right there we go now so up here you can see that it looks like it's pissing it down with rain just I'll just leave it leave it for a couple more seconds to um work or whatever right, anyways there we go so now it's going to play at full speed hopefully I think that was in full speed on your screen might be a bit laggy on the recording thing but still anyways that's uh, how to do it I'll bring there'll be another tutorial on how to do some cool little color explosion thing like in about an hour or something um, yeah don't forget to comment rate subscribe and that's it for today thanks for watching um, peace